Welcome back to C++ tutorial on Tute Fulcrum. This session is on bitwise OR operator. The bitwise OR operator takes two numbers as operands and does OR on every bit of two numbers. The result of OR is 1 if any of the two bits is 1. Let's understand the working of the OR operator with a table. Say we have two operands x and y. And this is the output after we perform the OR operation between x and y. So if both the inputs are 0, the output will be 0. That is 0 OR with 0, you are going to get an output of 0. 0 OR with 1, the output will be 1. Same way, 1 OR with 0, the output will be 1. And if both the inputs are 1, then also the output will be 1. So for the OR operator, if any of the input is 1, the output will be 1. Now let's consider our x as 3 and say y as 2. So now if we perform x or y, since it is a bitwise operation, it will manipulate on each and every bit of the operands. So 3 in binary form, we could write it as 0, 0, 1, 1. So this is our x and y is 2, that is in binary form 0, 0, 1, 0. So this is our y. So if we perform a bitwise OR operation between x and y, each and every bit will be OR. So 1 OR with 0, output is 1. 1 OR with 1, it is 1. 0 OR with 0 is 0. So here also it is 0. So this is the output where we perform x that is 3 OR with 2. So the output will be 3. Let's write a code and verify this. So let's take two operands, x and y. So let x be 3 and uh, let y be 2. Now let's use a variable result to hold the result of operation. So here we are doing the operation of bitwise or. So x or y. Let's use a cout statement to verify our result. So this is our program. Let's build and run and verify our output. So our program works fine and as expected our output is 3. So this is how a bitwise OR operator works. Now let me explain you a program where you will be applying the bitwise OR operator. So our task is to swap two nibbles in a byte. A nibble is a 4-bit aggregation or half an octet. There are two nibbles in a byte. Given a byte, swap the two nibbles in it. For example, Let's take a number 100. 100 in binary is written as 01100100. So the two nipples here is 0110 and 0100. So if we swap these two nipples, we'll get 0100 and 0110. This is corresponding to 70 in decimal. Let's say our operand is uh, x and it is holding the value 100. So in binary form we have 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. Now our aim is to swap these nibbles. So if you perform an AND operation with the value 0x, 0f, that is, I am doing a bitwise AND operation of the operand x and 0x, 0f. So, 0x, 0f is what? 
वन 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 एंड जीरो 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 सो एफ वी परफॉर्म अ बेट वाइज एंड ऑपरेशन आर आउटपुट विल बी वोट जीरो जीरो वन जीरो रिमाइनिंग ऑल बेट्स विल बी जीरो बिकॉज फॉर एंड एफ एनी वन ऑफ द ऑपरेंट जीरो द आउटपुट विल बी जीरो सो इफ यू लुक एट दिस यू कैन सी दैट वी हैव एक्सट्रैक्टेड द लोअर निबल्स जीरो वन जीरो जीरो we have extracted this nibble now if you try to use a shift operator that is if you left shift this four times you could get these lower nibbles into this part so that is after performing a left shift operation four times to the left your output will be 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 Zero 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 zero. That is, we have pushed this lower nipples to the extreme left. Same way, we need to extract the other nipple as well. So we will take x zero one one zero zero one zero zero. Now to extract the higher nipples, we will end this with zero x f zero. So here the Higher part will be one 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 one, and the lower values will be zero. So now, if you perform an AND operation, you could see that we are extracting only the higher nibbles. So this will be zero one one zero. So we have extracted the higher nibble as well. Now this, if you shift towards your right by four bits, you will get this onto your extreme right. So your output will be what zero 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 one one zero. So now if you combine these both, so to combine these two, we will use an OR operator. So when you combine these after performing the bitwise OR operation here, you could see that the nibbles are swapped. So zero one zero 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 OR with Zero 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 one one zero. What is our output? Zero one one zero 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 one zero. So this is the expected output, which is corresponding to the decimal value seventy. So we have swapped our nibbles. So let's write the program and verify this. So we have x holding the value hundred. We'll write this in one statement. Result is equal to what we need to perform. So we have our x. First, we'll do an AND operation with zero x zero f, and this is left shifted four times. This is Then or with again you have x and with zero x f zero now f zero. This you have to shift it towards the right four times. Now let's use a C out statement and verify our result. So our program works fine as expected. We are getting the result seventy. So we have swapped the nibbles. So this is about the bitwise or operator in C plus plus. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. And please don't forget to tap the bell icon. You will get notified whenever we upload a new videos. Thank you.